Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In this video, I'm going to show you some exciting new updates to the My Listing Pricing Table Switcher. Uh, the switcher came out uh, uh, not, not too long ago. And uh, since then, one of the requests has been to add the switcher functionality to front facing pricing pages. So I'm going to show you um, what all that means here in this video. I'm also going to walk through from the very beginning of how to set this up on your website. I've done this before in another video. Um, but prior to this video today, I've updated the written instructions uh, to make them a little more simple, a little more clear. We're going to actually use those instructions in this video today to reproduce this on a uh, one of the existing My Listing Starter sites. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it right here on the My Listing Club website. That's mylisting.club. If you want to see what this add-on is all about or pick it up, um, just go to mylisting.club and scroll down on the homepage a bit. Click on the My Listing Add-ons card here. Then click on the, the Pricing Table Switcher card. This is going to walk you through what this is all about. I've done a previous video about this, so I'm not going to rehash um, everything again. You can check out that video, which is, if you scroll down this product page, it's this first video right here on the left, the Pricing Table Switcher walkthrough. Um, I'll add this video to this page once we're done. And then there's also an educational series video for um, creating these pricing pages. Uh, whether it's the front facing pricing page, the ones that you see on the ad listing flow, um, and then also the inclusion of the table switcher in those areas. Okay, so here are the instructions I updated today, the written instructions. and These are the instructions we're going to follow along in this exact uh, video here. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over to my other screen so I can follow along. We're going to add this to the Vow starter site. I've already added this to the other starter sites, which... Um, show you here really quick. So here's the latest starter site fit. If we go to the pricing page, this is the front facing pricing page. We can see here that uh, this toggle is set up and working. Um, now, if we go to the, um, if we were to go to the ad listing, through the ad listing process, my goal here was to make these identical, right? So the design, Everything, the functionality is identical um, here. So that's really cool. Um, that was the goal and it was successful. Now we're going to add this here together on the Vow starter site. If you have implemented this already, purchased this, implemented and implemented this already, and you do not use front facing pricing page, then you can ignore this video. Um, but I highly, highly recommend that you use a front facing pricing page. There are templates that you can get from the club. Um, or you can recreate this um, yourself using Elementor Pro, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and close this down. Here we are on the Val Starter site. If we go to the pricing, front-facing pricing page on this site, we see there's no switcher, okay? Uh, if we go to the ad listing, I don't know why these are doing this. I'll have to look at that. Looks like some, some caching on the styling there. Um, yeah, if we go here, we see that we've got the switcher in place. This is again with that code, with that, um, with the add-on that's I've already put out there and that people have already bought. So this is already working just fine. So we want to just, as I showed you with the fit starter site, um, we want to mimic this. Okay. So let me get rid of this here. Okay. So let's get the switcher here on this front facing pricing page. Um, for this, we're going to jump over to WP code box. WP Code Box is the best plugin, hands down, for adding code snippets to your website. It's without a doubt. And there are lots more exciting things coming uh, it, literally any day now. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming. So I would really check it out. WP Code Box is not required for this. So if you have some other way of adding code snippets to your site, another plugin, whatever, um, this will apply. I just, I'm writing these instructions with WP Code Box in mind because. Um, it's just the best in terms of if you care about performance optimization on your site, if you care about simplicity of uh, administration, avoiding conflicts of snippets and stuff like that, this is hands down the best solution and it's super inexpensive. You can also get a deal through the club. Uh, so check that out. Okay, so we've gone to the My Listing Club website. We've downloaded this product, this add-on. Uh, once you get it, this is what it's going to look like. All we're going to do here is just unzip these files. So right click if you're on Windows like I am, extract all, uh, extract. It's going to just 
pull out these three files that you need. Again, if you do not have front facing pricing pages, you're not going to have one. You don't even need this video at all. Um, just wanted to throw that out there again. Um, so the files here are the same. If these files all differ, if you're going to have a front facing pricing page. So going forward, um, it's not going to hurt anything to have. So like, let's say if you buy this add on today, but you don't have a front facing pricing page, it's not a problem. It's not going to cause any issues or anything like that. This just, um, accommodates those that do out of the box. Okay. Um, so we have these three files. Um, as step number three says, create a CSS code snippet named pricing table switcher. So we're going to go over to WP code box. We've already got that front in here because this is, let's say a previous purchase, but let's say it wasn't, um, you create a CSS code snippet, you name it this, which we see it's named here. Um, what else did I say? Name it pricing table switcher, copy the contents of the pricing table switcher CSS package file. So that's this package that we, uh, that we, uh, unzipped here, extracted. So that's here, uh, the CSS package. You're just simply going to open this file, copy the contents of this file and drop it right in here into this uh, code area you see here. Okay. Uh, what's next where to run the snippet. So you're going to click on this. By default, it's going to say everywhere here. Just click on this drop down, choose custom, and then click on open conditions builder. So this is where that performance comes in. What you're saying is I only run, want to run this code on the, these exact pages. So that's where the performance comes in and the conflicts. You reduce conflicts by saying, just run this on these pages. Okay. Um, so as the instructions say, we want to, we want to run this where the current post is ad listing, which we already have in there. We also want to do this for the claim listing page because when you claim a listing, um, it's going to want you to choose a package. So we need that on that page as well. And then we're going to say pr the pricing page. So those three. Okay. Um, go ahead and click save and close here and then save again. Okay. So we now have our CSS package for this. It's that easy. You in the, these next steps, you're basically reproducing these steps but with the other files. Okay. So what's next? Create a JavaScript code snippet named pricing table switcher. Here we go. We have that. Um, same thing. Grab the code from here. I gave you the name of the file. Open that file. Copy the contents over into the code area here. Same thing. Run through the conditions builder. Um, for this one, what we need was uh, we need add listing and claim listing. So we're going to add claim listing here. And I do actually want to make a note if you're watching this, uh, hopefully, or, or reading the written instructions, um, and you are doing claim listings on your site, then yeah, you might want to go back and, um, do what I'm doing here and just add the claim listings page to, so that that styling and functionality carries over. Okay. All right. So we're going to add the claim listings there and we're going to save that. Okay. So this last one here, you'll get to see from, from, from scratch. Okay. So again, this is only for front facing pricing page people. All right. Create a JavaScript code snippet named pricing table switcher dash pricing page. So let's do that. New snippet title. That's the title. I, you can put whatever title you want in here. I'm just doing this, um, just to be consistent across all the starter sites. Um, you can put a description in here. Um, to remind you of what this is for, um, and then our, our snippet type here is JavaScript. Uh, did, let me make sure I wrote this in the notes. Yep, I did. Okay. Create a new JavaScript code snippet, name this, um, copy the contents of this last file, this third file, same thing, open this file, pricing, pricing table, switcher, JavaScript package, pricing page. It's a mouthful. Open that, copy the contents. Oops, let me go ahead and do that actually. Paste them in here. Make sure you, if you're using WP code box, you get rid of this top code. It's going to give you a message if you don't do that to warn you, but just go ahead and get rid of that. So this is how it should look. Okay. We're going to go where to run the snippet custom, open the conditions builder, add a condition current post is, and for this one, we want to say pricing. So 
That's all this snippet's for is to target our front facing pricing page. That's why we're not adding the, the ad listing page or the claim listing page here, just that pricing page. Save and close, save the snippet, enable it, okay? Uh, now let's go to our ad listing page and refresh it. You see, there's no changes here. This doesn't impact in any way this page. Now let's check out the pricing page. We're gonna, what we're gonna look for here is for that switcher to come in down here, okay? And it's not, let me go refresh one more time and make sure, let me see, okay, cool. So it's not there, that is just fine. Let's troubleshoot why that is. Um, let me move this one down here. What we're looking at for is functionality here. So the CSS is gonna add the design. JavaScript is gonna add the functionality. So we, we, we can't even look at the design. So that tells me we have some issue with the JavaScript file, okay? So let's look, pricing table switcher. Uh, there we go. So the step that was missed was, I forgot to add the pricing page um, to this other snippet. There we go. Um, I think that's in my instructions though. Let me go back and check. Where to run this snippet? That's the CSS one. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and save this. Let's refresh. Huh, still not in there. Um, let's do this a different way. I'll explain this in a second if this works. Nope, that didn't. Um, okay, let me take that out. That's I don't I didn't think that one was needed. There, let me go back here. Save. Oh, maybe something didn't stick. That is JavaScript. That is JavaScript. That's cool. Front post is pricing. I don't know why that is not working. Don't think it would be caching. That should just work. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I'm glad we went through this step. So I think my, instru my, my instructions were right. Um, I was just, I was just second guessing myself there. So let's just put this back the way it was. Just ignore that last few minutes of this video. Uh, da, da, da. All right, that's fine. And that's fine. Okay. So I, I shouldn't have second guessed myself. It was an issue somewhere else. Okay. So the piece that is missing there is we need to edit the pricing page. So this, I should have just followed my, my instructions. So um, we've got the code in there, that's fine. Uh, we need to edit our pricing page with Elementor. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, okay, we need to edit our page with Elementor. Uh, we need to edit this 27 package selection widget. We need to add in our other pricing. So we've, right now we've got in our, our monthly, our basic, standard, and premium monthly. So now we need to add in our annual. So let's do um, basic annual, standard annual, and our premium annual. Okay, so we did that step. And then step eight here is under the advanced CSS ID. So we're going to the advanced tab, CSS ID. And for this, we wanna just put in the ID of pricing page. So that allows our CSS to target this widget, okay? Click update to update our page. Now let's go refresh this pricing page. There we go. Uh, let's do the toggle. You see that's working nice there. 
Yeah. So again, I apologize. I shouldn't, I've second guessed myself. I should have followed my own instructions and this would have been fine. So moral of the story is watch, ignore the last few minutes of that video. If you follow the written instructions or just, you know, follow the video, ignoring what I, my brain fart there. Uh, it's super easy to do this. I mean, it's probably, it's probably a five minute job to do, to implement this from beginning to end the whole add on from beginning to end. Uh, assuming you've got that pricing page already in place. Okay. Um, please re refer to the videos on this page and, and the written instructions to get this implemented. Um, if you have any questions or feedback or whatever, um, jump in the My Listing Club community, the Facebook group, and drop your feedback and questions, um, good or bad, whatever. Uh, hopefully a lot of good stuff um, to get some attention drawn to this because I think it will really help boost sales for everybody. Um, and customer adoption and all that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, drop your stuff in the, in the club's Facebook group. And that way I can answer and, and help a lot of people at once instead of um, one-off support here and there just um, so we can help everybody. Okay. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the add-on. Please subscribe uh, to stay up to date with the latest videos that I'm doing. And uh, hope all's well. Talk to you later.